one of the most well-known dietary fads in the recent past several years has been intermittent fasting, especially intermittent fasting while on the ketogenic diet. Yet, similar to the keto diet in and of itself, intermittent fasting can be difficult to grasp and difficult to follow in the ideal manner for novices. Because of this, we made a video outlining the most vital pieces of advice for achieving success while following a ketogenic diet. With each piece of advice, we strive to dispel some of the more widespread myths and provide you with some actionable solutions so that you may obtain the outcomes you've been working toward. Please don't forget to check links in description. Number 5. Be aware of what you need to concentrate on. Does the number of calories matter when following the keto diet? Specifically, what should you be eating? Why does the keto diet work so well? You may get an entirely different response depending on who you ask. Even some research publications will offer one theory, even though other evidence makes it abundantly evident that the hypothesis is not true, like the carbohydrate, insulin hypothesis for obesity. Because there are so many views in the keto diet world that are in direct opposition to one another, it can be difficult to determine what is true, and if you don't know what is true, how are you going to know what to do if things don't go as you first anticipated they would? Do you put more of an emphasis on cutting back on carbs? What about getting some exercise? Should you choose to fast intermittently? If one delves more into the data, one thing becomes abundantly clear. The reason why people lose weight on the keto diet is that those who follow it tend to consume significantly fewer calories than they did in the past without even knowing it. It makes no difference how severely you cut back on carbohydrates or how many grams of fat you consume each day. Being in a caloric deficit is essential to burn the fat that already exists in your body. If you can find a diet that allows you to consume fewer calories than you have in the past without battling against cravings and hunger, like the keto diet does for the majority of people, then you have found one of the most sustainable strategies to lose weight and keep it off. Number 4. Stick to eating only keto, friendly foods and ingredients. Keto foods are defined as foods and components that have a negligible amount of carbohydrates. Your carb limit for the day will determine the precise meaning of the phrase extremely low in carbohydrates. For instance, if you want to reap the benefits of eating highly satiating foods in ketosis, we recommend limiting total carbs below 35 g and net carbs below 25 g, preferably below 20 g. This will allow you to enter and remain in ketosis. You can easily calculate your net carb consumption by deducting your total fiber intake from your total carb intake. You have to be very careful about the foods you eat if you want to consume such a low amount of carbohydrates. You could find that just one serving of many of your go to foods brings you dangerously close to the carbohydrate limit for the day that you've set for yourself. Even relatively healthy things like fruits and vegetables contain a surprising amount of sugar and carbs. But, there is no need to feel disheartened because the ketogenic diet allows for the consumption of a wide variety of delectable foods. You might, for instance, start your day with a bacon breakfast bagel, follow it up with a Thai barbecue pork salad, and then finish it off with a keto barbecue chicken pizza for dinner. All of them are tasty and contain a manageable amount of carbohydrates. In the ketogenic diet, some of the foods that are allowed and those that are not allowed to be consumed are listed here for your reference. Do eat meats such as fish, beef, lamb, chicken, turkey, eggs, and others. Vegetables that are low in carbohydrates, such as spinach, kale, broccoli, and cauliflower, as well as other low carb vegetables. Dairy products that are high in fat, such as firm cheeses, high fat cream, butter, and the like. Macadamia nuts, walnuts, sunflower seeds, and other types of nuts and seeds. Avocados with low, glycemic berries such as blackberries, raspberries, and other low, impact berries such as berries. Sweeteners such as stevia, erythritol, monk fruit, and various others that are low in carbohydrates. Different types of fats such as coconut oil, high, fat salad dressing, saturated fats, and so on. Do not eat. Tubers are vegetables like potatoes, yams, and others like them. Fruit, apples, bananas, oranges, etc. Sugar, including honey, agave, and maple syrup, amongst others. 
grains are foods including wheat, corn, rice, and cereal, among others. Number 3. Keep a close eye on your macros. According to the findings of recent studies, most of us tend to grossly underestimate the number of calories that we consume daily. You might believe that you are eating considerably less than you did in the past but you are still gaining weight because there are occasions when the disparity between your anticipated calorie intake and your actual calorie intake is so significant. Many of us will have lots of days where we consume fewer calories than usual and end up losing a little bit of weight. However, the next day, our subconscious processes that regulate our weight will kick in and encourage us to consume more calories than usual. Because of this, you will either put on more weight or reach a point where your weight loss stops progressing and you are unable to go past it. The worst part is that most of the time we are not even conscious that this is occurring. When we do become aware of it, we tend to either blame ourselves or the diet, while the reality is that we just need to take an objective look at how much food we are consuming. Number 2. Alter the surrounding conditions of your food. The human species initially evolved to be able to tolerate a food situation that is nothing like the one we currently live in. Our brains and bodies were not built to deal with the bountiful food environment that we currently live in, thus it is much simpler than ever before to acquire weight. We are constantly subjected to a barrage of innumerable processed food options, food advertisements, and odors that stimulate our appetites. Because of this, the oldest parts of our brain are the ones that urge us to go on a hunt for that food, which we now have a 100% probability of acquiring, and we don't even have to put in very much work to get it. Then, by our ancestral programming, we will gorge ourselves on the foods with the highest calorie density, such as pizza, french fries, cookies, cakes, and other similar items, and consume significantly more of those foods than our bodies require to maintain their energy levels until the next meal. This leads to a vicious cycle of feasting and weight increase, with the subconscious purpose of getting us ready for a famine that never materializes. But, the famine never materializes. If you follow these four steps, you will eventually be able to make the ketogenic diet a permanent part of your lifestyle. Your brain and body will develop habits of doing things that are good rather than things that are harmful, and it will be a lot simpler for you to lose weight rather than it will be for you to gain weight. Number 1 participate in keto diet groups with other dieters. Using the benefits of social support to your advantage is one of the most underutilized diet ideas. It will be much simpler for you to stick to the diet and achieve the results you want if you have other individuals with whom you can discuss your questions, challenges, concerns, and triumphs. Because of this, we decided to create an online keto community as well as a page that details people's achievements while following the keto diet. The success stories will show you what is possible and provide you with a source of motivation when you are struggling, and the keto community includes more than 23,000 members who are there to help you on your journey to lose weight with the ketogenic diet. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.